What's up everybody, welcome back to the car for another episode of After the Previews Reacts. I just got out of the theater watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I thought it was awesome. Uh, hands down, like, it, was, it was just a cool movie. Like, uh, was, there's not much to it. I mean, it's a really, there is a lot to it. Not that, the, not that there's not much to it. There's not much to the review of it, I guess. It's, it's Basically, it's a well-evolved version of the first movie. If you liked the first movie, you probably liked the second one. I've heard that some people don't like it as much as the first. Um, I, I gotta say, I, I think I like it just the same. It's There are two different movies, in my opinion. This one was very heavily influenced by, like, daddy issues and family issues and, like, um, just relationship type stuff. Relationship with your friends, relationship with... Um, you know, romantic relationships, rom relationships with mentors, father figures, family, just in general, like, this movie is all about relationships, and I think if people take this movie and, like, the lessons that the characters learn, if, they, if people took these lessons to heart, um, they could probably learn a lot about their own lives. It, I felt that this movie... I could apply a lot of what was going on in this movie to my own life and I thought that was kind of cool because, you know, it's just one of those things where people don't like to feel alone and this definitely is a movie that would make you feel less alone. It's, it's, so, it's so down to earth for a movie that's set primarily in outer space and I really like that. The soundtrack, just like the first, full of the classic pop hits, um, obviously a great soundtrack, right? Um, but no, it's, it, the soundtrack killed it just like the first one. There was, I think it was used perfectly the way that it was. Just like, again, just like the first movie. This movie, it was like they, it was like they saw everything they did right the first time, and they were like, okay, well, uh, barring literally doing the exact same thing, let's pretty much do the exact same thing. Uh, I mean, in some areas, that's not a good thing. I think they they played on the same jokes and. They, it was kind of like it insisted upon itself where in the sense that they were reusing jokes, reusing um, not, literal, not literal jokes like the lines that characters were saying, but like the way that the way that the characters reacted to certain things was almost beat for beat exactly like the way they reacted to a very similar thing in the first movie, which I guess makes sense if you're talking about like a character and like what that person is and like really people repeat themselves in real life too, so I guess that's being nitpicky, but as far as like making a movie goes, uh, that the jokes didn't seem as fresh, but they weren't bad. They were jokes that I was like happy to see again I just did notice that they were the same um, after the credits there were about five or maybe not after the credits but after the ending of the movie there are about five bonus scenes uh, four during the credits one after I think I think it was five but there there was there was a lot of bonus stuff afterwards and it was you know just little jokes and then one thing that kind of sets up the future of the story for the Guardians of the Galaxy but you know, it was all it was all done well. I think James Gunn knocked it out of the park again. And so, everyone, go see Guardians of the Galaxy. As far as the Marvel movies are concerned, I'm giving it like a eight out of ten. Uh, as far as all movies in general are concerned, I would say maybe I don't know seven point five, seven point six, something or something around there. It's a pretty good movie. Not amazing by any means. It's it's nothing that I've never seen before. It's not something that I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they did that. There's the um, the the performances. I mean, it's it's a Marvel movie, so they're pretty good. Like I, I think the actors in all of these Marvel movies are actually really good. I think uh, having Kurt Russell play Ego, the Living Planet, was pretty cool. Um, kind of, I think Kurt Russell, and it's hard to it's hard to say this in a movie that also has Vin Diesel in it, but I think Kurt Russell might have been my least favorite major role in the movie um just because kurt russell has this kind of thing and I, i've seen it in a lot of his movies but like he has this he has this thing where he has a position of power or authority but he still talks and acts like he's a regular dude just like you and me you know you're really pissing me off like it's not something someone so regal would say someone who is uh his character his status in this movie um 
But, I mean, again, it's a little thing, probably just me being nitpicky. Aside from that, I like this movie. I would definitely recommend Guardians of the Galaxy to anybody who's mildly interested in sci-fi or fantastical stories such as. Um, so yeah, that's been After the Previews Reacts. If you like this video, if you like this review of the movie, uh, hit the like button down there on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you are. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe or follow or like our page on YouTube, wherever you are, um, or on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, that's been After the Previews. I've been Kyle. Shut off your cell phone.